patent application that you maybe want to file. And that little sentence I put at the bottom of the last chart, a bit of bigger text here, 95% of the patents that are on the patent office database don't have any value. And what I mean by value is you can sell the product that you've patented, but the patent will also stop other people from selling the product that you've patented also. So you can have a patent for a product that you don't even sell, but it can have commercial value because it stops somebody else from, from um, um, interfering with the field. Um, so I don't want to think of value as necessarily, you know, no value because you don't sell the product. What I'm talking about here is no value in a strategic sense, either an offensive, offensive sense in which it protects the product that you're selling, or a defensive sense in which it, uh, it defends a, a piece of the technology field that you don't want other people to get into. So let's begin with the first way, the most obvious way of valuing a patent is to look at patent, patent damage awards. Um, most of the data that I take, uh, uh, that I show in this presentation are public, or they, they come off the internet at some, some of their, and some of it is an acknowledgement that they're public. Um, these numbers happen to be for 2006. If you look at any given year, they're roughly the same. Um, one takeaway from this is that the top 10, by the time you've gotten to the bottom of the top 10, you're down to in the forty to $50,000 range for patent damage awards. Now, a patent damage award is the value of the patent to the person who was infringing. In other words, somebody who was copying. It's not necessarily the value of the patent itself. And you can see, first of all, I want to bear in mind this number 40 million because we're going to be putting that into context in a moment. And secondly, there's a whole range of technologies involved with um, this software. Um, um, 